mother is jealous. I have a better sex life than she has. Hello, I'm Susie and I am the writer and producer of One More Guest. Uh, the inspiration for my project was my outrageous mother. So despite the early stages of dementia that she's dealing with, she still carried on having a fling with a younger man. And I wanted to show uh, the less depressing side of dementia as well as the pain. Well, I'm still trying to hold back the tears at the moment because I found the whole film so, so moving. And I think it was because of all the different relationship dynamics. It was entertaining as well as slightly thought-provoking. Do you not think it's something that everyone should see? And for some in the early stages, it can be quite liberating. Showing how the person with dementia just really enjoyed herself and was just in the moment, not able to really yeah, think about anything else. And it was just so beautifully and sensitively done. So the creative journey uh, was partly that I literally wrote the screenplay uh, as part of my screenwriting masters while sitting at the dining room table with my mum there and sh she would say such some such funny things I would literally write them down. I'm gay. You often hear very negative things, you see negative things on TV, in the press, but there are so many special moments and so much joy. The love of the dancing and being herself for the character and going back to those maybe past moments that she could remember. So it was very much uh, drawn from everyday life in some ways. If I lose my marbles, you will just shoot me, won't you? Luckily, she hasn't actually eloped with her boyfriend, so that part is fiction. But the stresses and strains on family life are very much drawn from personal experience. Love her, Karen. If you come here again, I'm having you arrested. She's a grown woman, for God's sake. She has fucking dementia. She's gone, Alex. It's not her anymore. Having experienced dementia in my own family, I think the intergenerational issues that come to the fore and the family tensions around um, different layers within the family, I think it was interesting to see that. Um, a group of talented people, local to me, uh, liked the script and they gave up their time and skill to make the film happen. Uh, I produced it in 2021 and it's gone on to earn uh, quite a few accolades. I've had some feedback from dementia charities that say they're just so glad it's not depressing and it's a, a quite a, a useful little film in some ways isn't that it could be used for fundraising so I'd like charities to make use of it for that. Well I did, I thought it was really brilliant and I would love it to be shown to the Alzheimer's Society and, and for everybody to benefit from it because I really did think it was brilliant. I thought you could really tell that the person or people that made the film understood the, the diagnosis and understood what what actually happens in the relationships and you could really tell that because if you've not had that touch your family or someone you love you 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 don't really you can't really understand it well my father recently passed and he has had dementia and it was very interesting to see and what i've noticed is the dissolving of that character and how they take on certain facets of their lives and how amazingly portrayed it was because of the difficulties that causes with your own family and the way that you live. You know, it is something that's quite common now in society with people living longer. Uh, and those questions and those issues that came up in the film are of interest to a lot of people, I think. It's my very first uh, short film and very happy with how it's turned out, but it's very much down to the wonderful, wonderful people that collaborated to make this happen. And also, my mum. Family matters more than lovers. Oh, you look just like your father. He didn't like to dance either. Hang on, I've, I've got a request. 